Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Mercier, Vice President here at FES. Uh, my goal today in this short video is just to show you how you could sponsor place a customer, which simply means you could move a customer from your customer's holding tank underneath an agent to trigger customer acquisition bonuses or CAB for short. So um, this is one of my agents, new off a back office, one of the fairly new agents. Um, so what you'll do is uh, first thing you want to look at is um, who you're going to place those customers underneath. So you could go to your agent report, you go to your cab report. Um, and for instance, let's say that this agent right here, because she only has eight days for her cabs to be triggered. So obviously it would make sense um, to place two customers underneath her so that we could trigger the cab. So first thing you want to be mindful of is you could take this agent ID right there. Um, you could literally copy it. Okay, and we're going to paste it later. So then you go to um, customer reports. You go to which is customer placement holding tank. What's your holding tank? Um, after your first two customers as a new agent, um, any customers after your first two customers will automatically go in your holding tank. Your holding tank, uh, the company simply gives you an option where you have up to 70 days to place that customer underneath an agent to trigger a cab, or you could keep that customer for yourself. Um, but either way, you will continue to earn your $12 residual income monthly every month the customer remains a customer. However, if you use that customer to trigger a cab, that $12 residual will start on the fourth payment of the customer. Um, but let's say, see, if you go to customer placement holding tank, see the options, you could sponsor place or you could do residual pay. Residual pay simply means you're keeping the customer. If you hit residual pay, you'll start earning $12 on that customer right away. Um, the only thing is if you had charged that customer a setup fee, you know how there's a $99 setup fee for your customer, or you could give them a discounted setup fee of $49. Right, so if you charge them either a ninety-nine dollar or a forty-nine dollar set of fee, so if a set of fee was charged, uh, what the company would do because they want to make sure it's a quality customer, um, they would pay you your set of fee right away. Let's say if, uh, if it was a ninety-nine dollar set of fee, you have a direct direct commission of a hundred dollars you earn. So it's not like they're not paying you the set of fee, but they give you a direct commission of a hundred dollars if the customer was charged a ninety-nine dollar set of fee, or they give you a direct commission of fifty dollars if the customer was charged a $49 set of fee. So if a set of fee was charged, you'll start, you won't start, even if you hit residual pay, you won't start earning the $12 right away because you already earned a direct commission. You start earning uh, that $12 on the fourth payment. However, if you hit residual pay and a set of fee was charged uh, on the fourth payment, you'll get all the $12 for the, previous three months plus that new $12. So what does that mean? Very, very simply, and it might sound confusing. It's very simple. If you had charged a set of fee to your customer, so you, let's say you already earned your direct commission of $100 or $50. So on month number four, you'll start earning the $12 monthly residual commission plus they'll give you the previous three months worth of $12. So that's $36 plus the new $12. That's $48 you'll earn on that fourth month. And every month after, you'll earn $12 in uh, residual income on that customer. Okay, You could learn more about it on your back, in your back office. Very, very simple. So just want to demonstrate very quickly how to place a customer to trigger a cab. Remember, the customer has to be um, acquired up until Saturday at 3 a.m., so really Sunday morning at 3 in the morning. Um, so any customers that sign up and enroll up until, let's say, through Saturday night, Sunday morning, right? So up until 3 a.m. Um, on Sunday morning, really, uh, because of, you know, if you have people on the West Coast, so it's really up until midnight, um, you know, in West Coast, right? But uh, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, you could use that customer up until Monday. You have up until Monday at five o'clock to move that customer underneath an agent to trigger a cab for that week. Quick example, let's say I signed up one as a customer, uh, let's say Saturday afternoon, so I have up until the, 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 the Monday, right after that Saturday, where I could take one as a customer, place it underneath an agent to trigger a cab that will be paid out that same Thursday morning in direct deposit, right? So very quickly, so I'm going to use two customers from that holding tank to place underneath that agent that we copied her business ID. 
So the first one I'm going to use is Kakun. Okay. So I'm going to do sponsor place. Right. I'll do agent ID. I just paste. Oh, sorry. Here. I just paste that agent ID right there. Bam. Search. Confirm the name. See? That was it. Mikna Services was Diana. Hit plus sign. New placement ID. Hit enter. Are you sure you want to place customer cocoon under Diana Mercier? Submit. Sponsor changes are final. Once a change is made, it cannot be reversed. Do you want to make this change now? Hit OK. Congrats. Done. So that customer went underneath Diana as an agent. And remember, she needed another customer. So we're going to use one. Sponsor place. Same agent. Oh, sorry. Because remember, you need two customers to trigger a cab. Same process. Enter. Submit. OK. Done. You guys see that? So now, if you go back to your agent report, what you go back to your cab report, now you'll see that Meekna Services, which is that agent we just used, see? Two payments. That means that that cab will be paid out to this agent and all the uplines the following Thursday because we did it before Monday, um, up until Monday at 5 o'clock. So today's Saturday we're doing it, okay? And if you look, you still have, uh, this agent still has have a cu another customer in her holding tank, which we could use to trigger future cabs. So hope this video was helpful. Um, enjoy. Thank you.